Our next speaker, Rafael Mercado, is a student I met just this year. On the outside, he appears to be kind of a quiet guy, um, but that has not stopped him from getting involved on campus and sharing some of his college's, college experiences and even challenge, challenges in an effort to help other students here at Tri-C. Rafael is an excellent student and a great example of how the right college fit can make all the difference in pursuing your career goals. Please welcome Rafael Mercado. A little taller than Esther. A little bit. <laughs> Just a little. Um, oh, one second. Adversity is defined by Merriam-Webster as a state of or instance of continued difficulty. Can you hear him? Can, can you hear me? I'm starting it. Adversity is defined by Merriam-Webster as a state or instance of continued difficulty or misfortune. Personally, I see adversity as something one can use to build themselves up to be stronger than they were before. My name is Rafael Jose Mercado, and I'm a first-generation Latino college student. Although I was born here in Cleveland, I'm proud to call myself Puerto Rican. I'm a middle child with an older sister, a younger brother, and two loving and supporting parents. Uh, my mother currently works as a bookkeeper at a local credit union, and my father works for the city of Cleveland as a police officer. Both of my parents <clears throat> obtained some form of training after high school, but never went on to obtain a formal degree. They never forced school on me. They just saw it as a way to get ahead. Um, I'm a graduate of James Ford Rhodes High School. Sorry, lost my place. Sorry. Uh, I'm a graduate of James Ford Rhodes High School, and I began my college education at Tri-C Metro through the High Tech Academy program at the start of my sophomore year. I followed in the footsteps of my sister, who joined the program when she was at Rhodes as well. Uh, I also joined as a way to escape the somewhat bare bones education offered by the Cleveland Municipal School District, which at the time had a Hispanic graduation rate of around 30% and an overall graduation rate at just 65%. Uh, the High Tech Academy served as a way to push myself to not be a statistic, something that had been instilled in me by my parents and grandparents from a young age. My abuela, who unfortunately passed away earlier this year, raised seven children in her lifetime with only a third grade education, uh, each of whom successfully completed high school. And a similar ethic has been passed on by my parents. I was taught to work hard for what you want in life and that nothing is given without the effort, as well as to not get in the habit of settling and pursuing what you want in life. Uh, my hard work in high school would pay off after graduation when I was awarded a Latino scholarship from The Ohio State University. Uh, as excited as I was about this opportunity, OSU would prove to be my biggest hardship. At first, I found the size of the campus uh, and classes to be somewhat daunting. However, it would be the added stress that I inherited from my course load, which would eventually take its toll. Uh, and not to mention leaving home and the support network, that, that it impacted me more than I could have anticipated. And I ended up leaving Ohio State in December of 2012 and returned home to work odd jobs. Uh, I ended up working at a car dealership, and I became a crew leader for a valet company. Uh, I enrolled at Cleveland State for fall of 2013 to continue my pursuit of a bachelor's in mechanical engineering, but it did not feel right at Cleveland State either. I have no problems with Cleveland State, I just felt that if it was not the proper frame of mind for me at the time. I completed four weeks of the semester, then returned to the workforce for the next year or so. And as it turns out, I would continue my college education where it first began, at Tri-C. I returned to the Metro and the Western Campus, splitting my time between campuses, in January of 2015. Since then, I have maintained a 3.69 cumulative GPA. I joined the Hispanic Council STEP program in the spring, and I became a part of the pilot program for a one-year certificate of proficiency in 3D digital design and additive manufacturing. God, that just means 3D printing. Um, um, and I'm also very proud to share that I plan on receiving two degrees from Tri-C uh, by the end of 2016. Uh, an Associate of Science in Mechanical Engineering Technology, and an Associate of Science in Manufacturing and Industrial Engineering Technology on top of an Associate of the Arts that I have attained through Ohio State and Tri-C. Uh, and in retrospect, I feel the greatest obstacle that I have overcome in my life is myself and my own self-limitation. I wouldn't so much say overcome, but more found a way to deal with it. If my grandmother was able to accomplish everything she set out to do with an extremely limited education, then someone like me with a supportive family, friends, and a further education can, can accomplish anything I set myself to. I personally view anyone who has had any assistance in getting me to where I am today as my biggest influence. No matter how small or large the influence, it all reflects in the things I put forward. 
Uh, if I could share one piece of advice to students who find themselves not at the right college for one reason or another, I would advise them to keep looking for what does feel right. If the fancy, flashy college seems too good to be true and you find yourself slipping, consider your local community college. And the adversity I have faced in the past has not been a setback for me, but more so a compass in pointing myself in the right direction. My future goals include completing my two associate's degrees and the certificate of proficiency in additive manufacturing. I hope to work for a company that can have a key role in changing manufacturing as we know it today, from antiquated methods to something newer and completely different. Working in a position where I may end up working anywhere in the world, all because I never chose to listen to who judged me and my potential based on my heritage. In closing, I would like to thank AT&T, KeyBank, Bernie Moreno Companies, and the Tri-C Foundation for their generous support.